Hi crafters, this is Nye with All Things for Created. Today we are going to go through the assembly of the Leprechaun Candy Dome. I'm gonna run through quickly what some of my supplies are that I'll be using for the assembly. First up is my art glitter glue. If you've been following, you know I love this stuff. I use it all the time for gluing all of my cardstock together. I'm also going to be using my hot glue gun. I have it off to the side here. I'll be using it to glue the dome in the center. I also have these clear domes that I'll be using as well. They'll fit right in the center here. It's about the 80 millimeter size, which is also equivalent to um, the 3.14 size. I'll link this on the blog post so you can um, order these for yourself. I also have these gold coins here that I'll be sticking in the center. My grocery store doesn't have um, the local chocolate gold coins out yet. They still have all their Valentine's candies, so I'm going to add those um, once they get them out. And I also have this push pin that I'll be using to move around some of these um, smaller pieces here. It'll be a little easier to glue them. You could also use a pair of tweezers if that's easy for you as well. Um, so first things first, when you're ready to start gluing is get all of your pieces lined up and ready to go. I have all of the um, finer details here of the face and the buckles of the shoe. And I'm going to glue these first because as I begin to shift all of the pieces of the cardstock, I don't want to lose any of the pieces, especially the tiny freckles here. Um, so let's get started then. Okay, so I'm going to start up here with the brim of the hat, the brim and the buckle of the hat here. I'm also going to move this tuft of hair because I don't want it to get in the way. And I want to make sure that when I do go to glue that, it glues right on top there. So just add a little bit of glue to your pieces and then begin to press it down. One of the reasons too why we also line up our pieces ahead of time is so that way we can make sure that we have all of our pieces cut and we have them in the position. So it's a lot easier for us just to um, do this final step with the gluing here. So I'm just adding a little bit of glue to the backs. I always tend to get a little bit of glue on my fingers. But the great thing about this glue as well is that it dries clear. So I don't have to worry too much about um, the seepage of it here if I use a little too much. If, I, if it really does bother me, I can just take this push pin as well and just scrape away the parts that are coming through. All right, so my next part that I'm gonna do is the eyes and the nose here. And I'm just gonna grab all of these pieces. And yeah, I'll do the eyes first and then get them glued. So then just take the whites of the eyes, add a little bit of glue to the back of these as well. And then you wanna line up this divot here in the center right with the divot on the eye and just allow it to have a little bit of room there on the sides. It's, it's okay if it's, um. It's not meant to sit perfectly on it. It's just meant to show a little bit of the blacks there around the edges. And now for the pupil part, it's really gonna be the same thing. I'm just gonna add a little bit of glue here. And then once again, I'm just going to add it to the lower part, but just kind of keeping all of those, these center grooves here lined up. Uh, that would, there we go, that's a little bit better. And now I'll take it and add glue to the back of the main part. And then just place it right there in the center. I shifted <laughs> some of the other pieces, but that's okay. Sticking to all the glue on my hand. And then I'll take the nose piece here and add a little bit of glue right there as well to the back and then place it right kind of between the eyes and a little bit lower there. 
And now I'm gonna take out the cheeks here and the freckles. Just use, pick those up with my finger and put them there. And add the mouth. And just take a little bit of glue again and just add it to the back. A little bit here is gonna go a long way. Um, if you add too much, you're gonna find that there's going to be a lot more seepage. And like I said, it's okay. It's just that if it bothers you, then you're not gonna, you're just not gonna wanna use a lot. I'm just gonna add a little dab there and press that down. There we go. And I'm gonna do the eyebrows next, which once again, I'm just going to use my finger to pick them up. And this part, I'm just gonna eyeball where I want them to be. There's really no precise area that they should go. It's really just how you want them to be. You could even make them, um, you could do one that's up really high and then one that's low. So his facial expression could change. That's your choice. And now I'm going to start the cheeks. And this part, I'm just going to kind of eyeball myself. I'm gonna do that, a large one there for the pink part of the cheek. And now for the freckles, I'm going to make a little bit of a triangle here since there's three of them. And it's just gonna add a little bit of symmetry here on his face and cuteness. <laughs> All right, so there's one. And then, oh, I missed that part. And then two. All right, and then the last one there, three. So it just adds a little something, a little bit of character to our, our little leprechaun here. And again, I'm just gonna eyeball it over here for the cheek. I'm going to add it there. And then just place the cheek piece right there. And again, I'm going to make that triangle for the freckles. One, two, and then three and add the freckles. <laughs> I had cut some extra ones of the freckles because these pieces were so tiny that I was afraid I was going to lose them <laughs> as I was gluing here. Because that's what would happen for me. Okay, so there, that's his face. I'm gonna push these extra ones off to the side. And now I'm gonna do his beard. <laughs> he looks quite green there without the orange of his beard. So just adding a little bit of glue here to the back. And once again, I'm just going to line it up right here and line it up with the part of the circle and then just press all those pieces down right there. And that's good. And I'm going to come down here and I'm going to add the buckles as well. Now these are really tiny. If you want to, or thin and tiny, if you want to use a pair of tweezers to hold these in your hand, that would work really well here. I didn't pull mine out, so I'm just going to use my fingers. And again, we're only doing these steps with this gluing first with all of these um, details of his face and shoe because as we begin to shift the cardstock with gluing them all together, there's a greater chance that you might lose some of the smaller pieces. And so this step will just make sure that we've gotten everything taken care of ahead of time. And then, so for the other buckle is really just kind of line it up to where you think the buckle should be on the shoe. And again, I'm just gonna use my pin here to get some of this extra glue that's coming out. Not that it really matters, but it's just, I guess, my particular there. <laughs> okay, so, oh, and the hair. Um, I'm gonna add the hair in just a moment. I'll glue these two pieces together first. This outer part of his jacket and then his um, skin tone part here. I'm gonna glue these two together first and then I'll add the hair because it'll sit on both of these. So I'm just kind of getting them in the right position and I'm putting it down and I'm just gonna use my hand to hold it. And then I'm just gonna add glue along here. 
just to get this top part of the hat secure. And there we go. I got a little bit right here. So I'm just gonna use my push pin again to get rid of that and wipe it with my paper towel there. Okay. And now for this bottom part, I'll just glue this as well. And hopefully I didn't get it again on that part side there. Oh, good. And then just press it down. And then for the hair, now I can put it there. You can have it up higher if you want. Um, you could put it off to the side if you want to. It really depends on how you want your facial expression or how you did your facial expression of your leprechaun, if you raised his eyebrows or not. Um, but I'm just gonna put mine here and there we go. Like I said, these are all just little pieces to add a little bit of personality to him. Okay, so there's that part. And now what we're going to do is we're going to start gluing. I am going to take all of these pieces and I'm going to leave this bottom piece here because I'm actually going to take my dome and glue it here on this part and then take this and fit it right over top. So that way you can't really see this part. You don't have to do it this way. You're more than welcome to glue all of them and then glue it like that. I'm just going to do it this way so I can hide that hook here. Um, just for this one. So I'm going to move that off to the side there. And now I'm going to take and flip these over so I can start gluing. And I'll actually speed up the video for this part because this will just be just gluing. <laughs> Have all of this part of his body glued we're also going to take this one and put it down off to the side first and what we will do now is we'll work on the back of the back the opening mechanism that will go on the back of his body all my papers are flying so we're gonna get our pieces here for the mechanism and get them all lined up here and we're gonna start gluing I'm going to go a little bit slowly through this part because I know that there was a little bit of confusion in how to put these together before. So take these two pieces that are exactly the same, take them and line them up and put them together. Hold it, open it up, and then just start gluing. This will be the middle piece that is for the slider. And we're taking two of the same pieces and gluing it together just to add a little bit of thickness and it just allows for you to have something to hold on to as you begin to slide it inside the mechanism. So there's that part. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take these two pieces, these will be the back, and we want to make sure that this opening here lines up. I, I don't know if you can really see, but these two here are not meeting. So I'm gonna take it and flip it over and now everything matches and lines up perfectly and again what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold it and then just start hold down part of it lift it up and then start gluing so just a little bit along this side here and then press it together and hold it and then do the op opposite side so again, just open it up, press it together there, and press it down. And so now we have these two flaps here. What we're going to do is we're just gonna add a little bit of glue right here and right here. And then we're going to take it and fold those flaps right on top. 
So press and hold so that way it dries and stays and right on top there. And what now we're going to do is we're going to begin to piece it all together. So this part will line up right over the opening there. And then we will take the top part and we will also line it up right where the opening would be. So when we go to slide the mechanism, it will go like that. So I'm gonna keep these two together there. And I'm gonna take this part, which was gonna line up right here. And I'm actually going to just flip it now because what I'm going to do is I'm gonna add a little bit of glue and fold part of these tabs here. So this part, take and fold it right there, press and hold it so it stays, and do it for the other side as well. Press and hold it so it stays and it dries there. I got glue in my fingers again. <laughs> okay, and so once you have it drying, what we now wanna do is take these two tabs here and these tabs here and we want them to meet together like a sandwich. So we're gonna press them together so that they meet just like a sandwich right there. So hold it all together in your hand, get them all lined up and then flip the entire thing over and keep it so it's all meeting and lining up. And there, and just keep holding everything down. Now what we want to do is, we have to fold this part here to kind of keep everything secure. So take your finger and just bend it along here to make a crease. There were no fold lines added for you to cut this because we don't want it to be completely tight and perfect or not necessarily perfect, but we don't want it to be too tight because then the mechanism doesn't slide freely inside. And we want it to have a little bit of looseness there. So press and fold it, and then do that for all of these sides with your finger without keeping, without letting it shift. I know it's gonna be kind of tricky, but as you can see, it can be done. And so there's that side. And then now for this third side here, you're just gonna press it there and press it down. And there we go. And so now keeping everything secure and in position, we're going to go and add glue on the flaps here to help sandwich them as well. So take it, add a little bit of glue there and again on the other side. Press and hold it so it stays. And now we're ready to glue this part here, just a little bead of glue right there. And then press and hold it so it makes that seal with the glue. And then do it again along here, along the bottom here. I'm gonna put it down now. and pick it up again <laughs> and press and hold it there. Okay, and for this last side here, we're gonna add again just a bead of glue and then press and hold it down so that way it seals. That part moved a little bit more. And so on this part, because this is gonna be the back, it's okay if there's um, a lot of seepage with the glue, that's all right. And you can see that it's working. It's a little stiff, but it's okay. And now with these two flaps here, we're gonna add a little bit more glue, and then we're going to press and just fold these over as well. So there's the one side, press and hold it so it stays. And then this side, press and hold it so it stays again. And that's it. You can see that the mechanism moves freely and it doesn't really 
um, get stuck there. So now you're gonna take the back of your leprechaun and what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip this part over because the parts where we glued down, that's the back. We're gonna add it here and we're gonna glue these two together. So just kind of line it up. You can pick it up and flip it over just to make sure that everything is matching up there so that the hole and the opening match. And then you can just add your glue again to the back of the mechanism here. And you can be a bit generous because we want it to be secure. And then press it again right there over the opening and press and hold it down so that way it makes that seal. And if you have a little bit here, that's okay because the glue will dry. And we're gonna be using candy that is individually wrapped, so that will make it okay. Okay. All right, so then I'm gonna slide it back into place. And now we're actually ready to add the hot glue here for the dome. So kind of line it up where you want it to be. I'm gonna put mine off to the side here, but if you wanted to, you could put it um, really anywhere, not too close to an opening though, because it is going to be a really um, snug fit. So I've got it lined up. I'm gonna take my hot glue and you can see the dashed lines that cut. That's where we're gonna add the bead of hot glue right along those dashed lines. Just take your hot glue there and go all the way around. And then take your dome and really center it right on there before the glue dries. <laughs> and then press and hold it down so that way it sticks. Okay. Okay, that's good. All right. And then what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take our leprechaun body and we're gonna really just press it down. And it's going to be snug, but we're gonna use our glue to kind of make that final seal here. I've got lots of stray pieces of paper. <laughs> okay. So I'm just lining mine up right here and checking the back. His foot is just a little bit off, but it's, there it is. There it goes, okay. And just really press it in. And what we're gonna do now is just lift it up a little bit and add that glue right in there. I'm being really generous to make that seal and then press it down. And press and hold it and give it a chance for it to um, really get secure and stay there. And then you're gonna make sure that you get it for the bottom part as well. Just use your hand to get a, in there and then press it. And then for the foot, <laughs> that's tricky. And then press it down. And now for the other side, see a little bit came up right there. And I'm just gonna add it right along the foot part because it opened right there. And then press it down again and that will do it. And so now he's all together and there he is. And what I like to do now is once I have him all done, I like to go onto the back and I like to kind of bend this to make it like more of a tab 
and there it makes it a little easier to pull open and close. Mine got stuck for some reason. That's a little interesting. Haven't had that one before. <laughs> okay, there we go. And so I'll take my coins and add them in. Even though I wish they were my chocolate coins, but hopefully they'll have them out by next week. And then I'll close it. And then there we go. And so now our little leprechaun, he's cute and he's all finished. So I hope you guys like this craft and I hope you enjoy it and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.